how are you feeling now just a few hours before the ceremony um, a bit stressed a bit um, happy uh, looking forward to the ceremony and uh, and voila finally finally the day we've been preparing for yes or working for <laughs> The world is a super complex place and we have super complex problems. And actually it's human activity of different kinds that is going to be able to change that we have. And essentially the laureates that we've ever honored have all have one thing in common. They are people who face the struggle and really use their human resources to be able to change. And that's what they have in common. Environmentalists all around the world are being oppressed for their activism. So it is our duty to make the oppressor hear that we deserve better environment. Being an environmental activist is a lifetime commitment that requires resilience and a strong support system. In times of adversity, we lean on those who share the same struggle with us. This is why it's so important to be part of the Right Life People Do Right family. The requirements for making death from unsafe abortions a thing of the past are all well known. What is needed is for further country-level action to talk the talk and walk the walk. We have citizens supporting us. It's extremely important. This mobilization that is helping us to keep going. You ask before why we keep going. It's also because of the people uh, surrounding us. What stays from this week is a quote by you, Phyllis. You got this question of you know, how do we build change? How do we move complex, complex, uh, messy system that societies are to a better future? And you said, it's easy. You just start, others will follow along. I think that is what we should take with us.